Happening now at the West Lafayette Wellness Center, West Lafayette Parks seek community input on plans for Happy Hollow Park. News 18's Perry Apostolakos is live at the event right now. Perry, when will that event wrap up? Hey, Samantha, this event actually wraps up at 7 p.m., but until then, you can stop on by here at the West Lafayette Wellness Center, and if you have an idea for Happy Hollow Park, there are illustrators here who can help bring your idea to life, much like this drawing that somebody made of a treehouse, which is a creative idea, if I do say so myself. This event is the first of its kind in this particular planning session for the Parks Department, and as a matter of fact, it's a joint effort from the Parks Department, Purdue Horticulture and Anthropology at Purdue. This is going to be a long-term uh, project, right? It's not going to be done overnight. West Lafayette Parks and Recreation seeks the community's input on their five-year master plan for Happy Hollow Park. So having this type of process, it's important for us because we know that we're on the right path when we do these improvements. Residents like Sandra Kelly have come out to share their critiques. Well, I wouldn't have put the dog park at the base of a hill because everything drains down to the dog park. She suggested even moving the dog park altogether. Bryce Patz, community forestry and green space manager for West Lafayette Parks, says that's one of the issues they're aware of. We've been working on it. We've been uh, reseeding it with uh, grass seed, getting some mulch in there. Another notable issue is erosion. Pat says plans are being discussed. We'll have to uh, secure banks. Um, there might be areas that we need to address the channeling of the water um, and definitely vegetation planting, some getting some native restoration work in there. Um, that's all going to be part of the process on making sure we address the erosion for long term uh, versus do, doing a quick fix. West Lafayette resident Sean Sasser grew up going to Happy Hollow Park and wants to see it thrive. It's the public's park. The public should have input into how the park is designed. If you couldn't make it out today, Pat says that there will be another event of this kind in the fall. Reporting live in West Lafayette, Perry Apostolakos, News 18.